This episode of Ask the Buffalo is brought to you by Gamefly and Pi. On this episode of Ask the Buffalo, we're going to talk about Nokia's Lumia 900. We're going to talk about unlocked phone, what the best tablet or phone for someone over 60 is. We're going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S3 and all kinds of fun tech in between. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you watch Ask the Buffalo and you've always thought, hey, I want to see my name up there. I want my question to be answered. It's pretty easy to do. Every Tuesday on technobuffalo.com, we will put up an article asking you to submit your questions. If you missed the Tuesday post, don't fret. You can send us the question over on Twitter. Use the hashtag AskTheB and send it to at technobuffalo and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and jump into our first question. Jose Martinez Jr. 69 wants to know, what is the difference from an unlocked phone to a not unlocked phone? That is a great question. So I'm not sure where you're located, Jose, but here in the United States and in a lot of countries, phones are locked to a carrier. And what that means is that your phone is only gonna work on that particular carrier. If you buy a phone from an AT&T store, it is gonna be locked only to that carrier. You couldn't pop in a T-Mobile SIM card and use that service on edge. It's just not going to work for you. What an unlocked phone does, it takes away those barriers, meaning you can use that phone on any carrier that uses a SIM card, presumably that it's using the same bands, and it's going to work for you. Now things get a little bit tricky. If you get a locked phone, you can buy something called an unlock code. Go ahead, type that in, boom, suddenly you can use your phone on a different carrier or any carrier that you want. So that is what unlocked means and what locked means. Locked is locked to one carrier, unlocked means you can use it on multiple. So hopefully that helped answer your question. So one of my favorite phones from CES 2012 was a Nokia Lumia 900. User Yapo PR46 also wants to talk to Lumia 900. Hey John, I'm planning on upgrading my AT&T phone for the Nokia Lumia 900. You think it's a good idea to get a single core phone when all these quad core phones have been announced? You think I should wait for Apollo to get a more capable phone? The phone's currently running Windows Phone 7 or Windows 7.5, which has been named Mango are all single core phones. Uh, most Android phones now are dual core and quad core phones are coming very soon, obviously having four cores. Android is an operating system that can handle multiple cores and it's been meant to accommodate that. Windows Phone is written at least as it is right now for one core. And despite being a little bit underpowered, the Windows Phone 7 software is completely optimized for the hardware that it's running on. So you're getting a very, very fast, elegant experience. Apollo is the next version of Windows Phone coming, Windows Phone 7.6. It's not gonna be Windows Phone 8 quite yet, but if you're in the market for a Windows Phone 7 device now, the Lumia 900 is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. All right, so this next question comes from Twitter, and it comes from user Doug Morton. And Doug asks, what do you think is a better product for a non-techie person over 60? An iPad or a Mac Mini for casual computing? Well, I can speak from experience. Uh, my father is over 60. My mother, don't tell anyone, is sort of getting up to that age. And they both love their Apple products and can use them very easily. There was a very short learning curve. My mom, and she's probably watching this video, uses her iPad 2 all the time. She sits on the couch, she can check her email, she can catch up on my videos, which she loves to do. My dad has an iPhone, he uses my mom's iPad. They absolutely love it. It's been really, really, really easy for them to get on the internet and check the sort of simple things that they need to do. I also gave them an iMac. And so they've got it at home, they sort of use it, but it's a new unfamiliar operating system to them. Primarily they use their, what was a Windows XP machine, they finally upgraded to Windows 7 now, and sort of on an offshoot, to show my parents' age, they're probably the only people I know that not only still pay for AOL service, but also use an at AOL.com email. And it hurts me every time. I'm in this business, I try and get them off of AOL and they refuse. So if you have any advice to try and get my parents away from AOL, I would love to hear it because I have tried absolutely everything that I know. And speaking of things I know, let me share with you something that I know I like and that I know that I use, and that is Gamefly. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service that offers your choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles from across all consoles or handhelds. 
with plans starting at just $15.95 a month. Gamefly main members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing, send it back and Gamefly will send you the next one. If you like the game, let's say it's Arkham City and you really like playing as Batman and you don't want to send it back, don't worry about it. You can buy the game directly from Gamefly and they will send you the manuals and box and you are good to go. If that sounds awesome to you and you want to try it, get a 15 day free trial for a little over two weeks. You can try Gamefly, you can play all your games. Go to Gamefly.com slash TechnoBuffalo. Let them know we sent you. That is Gamefly.com slash TechnoBuffalo. All right, so our last question comes from TechnoBuffalo.com and user Paul who wants to talk about the much rumored Samsung Galaxy S3. We thought we might see it at Mobile World Congress. Samsung said no. No. Paul's question is, where do you think the Samsung Galaxy S3 will be headed? And do you think it'll have enough hype to compete with the iPhone 5? Well, presumably it'll be out before the iPhone 5, so the iPhone 5 actually has to compete with the Samsung Galaxy S3. Much like the iPhone 4S had to compete with the already out on the market Samsung Galaxy S2, we're gonna see the same thing in the next generation. I definitely think we're gonna see it on all four carriers. Um, with the one exception being maybe not Verizon since they've got the Galaxy Nexus. But if I were a betting man, I would say that we will see the Samsung Galaxy S3 on AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and even T-Mobile. So if you're a fan of red, yellow, pink, or blue, you're gonna be able to get it on the carrier of your choice. The Samsung Galaxy S3 is going to be one hot phone. As soon as we know more information about it, we will tell you. So be sure to check out technobuffalo.com for all your phone news and find out more information on the latest and greatest. And also to get some more videos and bad jokes. For now, I am John Rettinger. Thank you for watching Ask the Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. This episode of Ask the Buffalo is brought to you by Gamefly. This episode of Ask the Buffalo is brought to you by Gamefly. And my fake accent.